would love to introduce you to Michael Obinsky from Michael Obinsky Photography. He is actually one of our top and favorite photographers here at Warehouse 215. So thanks for coming down. Thanks for having me. So tell me a little bit about how you got into the industry. Um, that's a, like a loaded question. It happened <laughs> so long ago, I feel like I don't remember. But, um, but no, I was, I think I, you know, I had a daughter born, uh, she's 11 now, and when she was born, I got into taking photos of her, probably like a lot of moms and dads. Mm. And I, I got real excited about learning that. And I'm, I also do storm photography, so I was learning about my camera more and doing that. Okay. And I started taking more pictures of her, and it led to taking pictures of some friends for a Christmas card, and it led to another friend asking me to shoot their wedding, which I did not want to do. I was terrified. <laughs> And it was pretty. It was pretty bad first experience. Backyard, dark, and just a horrible place for a first-time photographer to be thrown into. But after that, I did a couple more, and I found, um, especially the third one, how much I loved it. You know, right. we flew out to Malibu right. and shot this wedding all day. Then flew back that night. We're sitting in the airport, just exhausted, feet hurt, everything. But all I could think about was how grateful the the couple had been right. and we had shown them some photos we took that day and they were just overjoyed and there was beautiful moments dancing with the dad for the first mm -hmm. time and and I remember kind of getting emotional about that because I had a daughter and I sat in the airport going I think I can do this I think right. I like this and it kind of just went from there blossomed from yes. there and I think it's a really big deal because there's a lot of photographers that pop up on the market real quick and go I can do wedding photography right. and there's there's something to be said that you've got 10 years of experience and lighting experience and this and that because the one thing that's always for sure is something weird will happen on a wedding day. Absolutely. Wedding, I mean, especially rain and weather. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've been in the middle of a pasture up by Flagstaff and had a downpour right in the mm -hmm. middle of while they're walking down and it turned out, you know, for me it was wonderful. And they had a good time, thank right. God. But, but being kind of just prepared, I knew it was coming, and I right. grabbed an umbrella, and I was able to shoot through it and not have anything bad happen. Versus running and, and hiding. <laughs> yes. And so kind of, and also just the, the I, I feel like one of my strengths is I'm very relaxed. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty calm, and I also, for a lot of my, you know, first half of, you know, the 10 years of shooting weddings, yeah. I didn't have very many wedding planners, so I did a lot of, you know, kind of keeping people on task and stuff. And so I've seen every you know, type of, of wedding event, what's gonna happen, what needs to happen before this happens, right. and so it can be smooth, especially for the bride and groom. Right. And especially you know, first looks, how important they can be. I've had very like, nervous brides no. who are on the verge of you know, um, getting sick or, or just panic attacks. Right. And I'm saying, you're gonna see him in a few minutes by yourselves, and I'm, trust me, you're gonna It'll calm okay. down. And, and I've had, you know, I've had that happen where some brides later, you know, very thankful for mm -hmm. that moment and that I talked right. them into that because they, they said, I didn't know what I was going to do. And um, so I feel like those are some of my strengths and being able to kind of keep the day on task and, and, and way ahead of time, let them know what, yeah, you kind of need about this much time to do be this and be prepared. Yeah. And I think that's a really big deal is your attitude because everybody involved that closely with the wedding, if there's right. not a planner is high strung that day, yeah. right? Like everybody's excited and everybody yeah. is nervous and everybody's this, yep. and to have someone that close, cause like your relationship with your photographer is very intimate. Like you're very, yeah. they're in your business all day long. So you need someone that's gonna set that tone and yeah. like be calm and like set it, like make it just easier to get through these big moments. Absolutely. And uh, one of the other major things is you've only been doing this 10 years only. It's been yeah. a decade. About 180 weddings or so. <laughs> 100 million. <laughs> it's a lot years. of weddings. <laughs> no, and it is. But the, um, in those 10 years, you've been naturally brought here without our influence quite a bit. Like you've been on my radar my entire career, which is also 10 years here. Yeah. <laughs> and every set of photos we've ever gotten from you has been amazing. And, and they don't look the same, which is the cool thing. Like you, there are the like specific poses that we yeah. all want, but like you, for lack of a better word, get inspired by the day and yeah. by the scenery and by the couple. Yes, absolutely. And the people are the people, the, their friends, their family, mm -hmm. the you know, little flower girls and boys, the ring bearers and all that stuff. Everybody has a different you know, attitude and spirit and energy. And so mm -hmm. we're always looking for, you know, at least for me, you know, we definitely do those pose shots. Right, where we gotta do. of course. And, and we've been at Bentley a bunch and, and I know the walls and I know it's really nice on this side of the building <laughs> and, and over here where we can be in the shade and things like that. Yeah. But but the rest of it is trying to capture moments and, and hidden things that happen that no one else notices. And, and that's a tough part, but also the real fun part. 
And that's what's incredibly important. Like I always tell folks when they're looking for a photographer, don't look at the pose shots. Right. Anybody can really line up and do that, but yeah. it's capturing those like magical moments yeah. when like the mother-in-law is laughing at the joke right. or whatever. And it takes a lot of experience to be able to s be prepared to look for those moments, yeah. not necessarily like guess that it's going to happen. Yes. Like you know what's coming. Absolutely. And I think that's incredibly important, and which is probably why we adore you so, because all the photos. <laughs> Appreciate that. You actually a lot of the photos on our website <laughs> is <laughs> Michael Bensky little logos uh, at the bottom. Well, and I love shooting here. It's just such a beautiful venue. The light is always so nice and. It's perfect at sunset, and yeah. it's in a very cool, you know, industrial area where you can just be in the middle of a street over here where there's yeah. power lines and old houses, and it's still makes the you know, coolest shot. A great couple in like a wedding dress and a suit, and it looks awesome. So I don't, I love it. I think one of the major things here specifically is that we're weather protected. Right. But with that being said, our lighting is kind of unique. Like a photographer needs to be prepared to be able to shoot with the lighting coming in so strong from outside, and not all photographers can do that which is something you have been absolutely exceptional at, which means that their end product is something they can enjoy and love versus like, oh, I wish that the lighting wasn't this way or it wasn't right. that way. Right. Well, the lighting here is great because it's natural. You have all these great windows with the glass blocks and there's not a lot of the kind of orange lights, although, you know, people mm -hmm. hang candles and do other stuff. But the natural light really helps that. And yeah, if it's overcast, it can be a little dimmer, but we, you know, we have good cameras and we're able to compensate for that and um, usually everything always kind of looks great. I love it. So tell folks how they can get a hold of you, like email, phone number, um, social media. Um, my name's Mike Olbinski, and it's O-L-B-I-N-S-K-I, and if you Google that, um, that's what I use for everything. So okay. MikeOlbinski.com, Michael Binsky Weddings on Instagram, and yes. Michael Binsky on Twitter, and um, I think Michael Binsky Photography on Facebook as well, right. and um, and that's and then my website has a form that if you're interested in booking a wedding or just an engagement session, you can fill that out and send it my way, and I respond pretty quick. Yeah, I think it's very important for folks actually to meet you directly mm -hmm. because I think that personality and and like how malleable you are about um, just connecting with so many different couples is incredibly important. Yeah. But um, thank you so much for being Absolutely. here today. Absolutely, thanks for having me. Of course, have a great day.